Lord Ashcroft has made a series of damning allegations against the Prime Minister's wife, Carrie Johnson, saying she has huge influence on Boris Johnson's decision-making and really it's her that holds the real power at number 10. Well, he's citing several anonymous sources and Ashcroft even claims that she squandered Boris Johnson's chances of becoming a great Prime Minister. But Carrie has, in the last 24 hours, hit back. She's insisting that she plays absolutely no role in the government. Kira Durkin has more. Well, Carrie, uh, apparently to blame for the Prime Minister's current mess, or should we leave her out of the, of the discussion? Joining us to talk about this, journalist uh, and broadcaster Nina Mishkov, who believes that Carrie is responsible for the mess we're in, and Boris Johnson's biographer Sonia Purnell, who says the criticism is old-fashioned and sexist. Very good morning to you both. Morning. Um, it morning. might be old-fashioned and, and sexist, Sonia Purnell. It might also be true. Um, what, is it unfair? Do you think that this is a mess all of Boris's own making? I mean, he, he, excuse me, he is the Prime Minister, not, not Carrie Johnson. So, of course, all the responsibility for mistakes, for um, misleading people, all the rest of the entire mess is, of course, his responsibility. He's not a toddler. He's a grown-up. It is a sexist thing to blame the spouse. But can you imagine any of us saying, oh, we you know, messed up at work today and it was our husband's or our wife's fault? Of, of course not. Did Winston Churchill, who was Boris Johnson's great hero, blame everything on his wife, uh, Clementine, when mistakes were made? No, of course not. I mean, Clementine was his advisor, his counsellor. He talked to her a great deal. But he never, ever made out that any decision was anything but his. Any grown-up prime minister, any responsible prime minister, would, of course, accept responsibility for his own decisions. And you wonder where this thing comes from, because, of course, Johnson has been busy blaming everyone except himself for this mess, and I think this may just be a continuation of that. Well, what, are you, you think that, that Boris Johnson's the one Is he the anonymous for? source? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea, but what I do know is that, um, you know, we always have these anonymous sources briefing it was X's fault or Y's fault, wherever Boris Johnson is concerned. And it just seems bizarre that the latest casualty in this is, is his own wife. All right, well, uh, has he come out and said, absolutely no way is this true? No. OK, well, let's come to Nina. The, I mean, the, the key question to people like you, Nina, who, who hold the views that you do about Carrie, is how do you know? Because unless you've got a sort of a spy camera of your own uh, in, a, in number 10, in, an, in the flat, you can't know, can you, that these, these stories and these allegations are true? Nobody can know, obviously, 100% uh, for sure. We're not actually in the room. But you can certainly analyse things with an intelligent brain. I was rather astounded to hear Sonia talking about using the words responsible um, uh, as far as Boris Johnson's concerned, and, and saying he's not a toddler. Well, quite frankly, that's that's the way he behaves very often. Um, and, of course, he is ultimately responsible for his own fate and the disasters that he's created. But if you look at the um, relationship that uh, from the outside that he has with Carrie, if you'd analyse it, you know, she is, first of all, she's much, much younger than him. She's a, at least a generation younger than him. Um, and then there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But the point being that her friends are the same, pretty much the same age as her. Um, so when Boris got rid of all the um, wise old heads um, when, he, uh, when he prorogued Parliament in 2018, after he won the, uh, the Tory party election, he got rid of all the wise heads, stuffed the place with um, sort of incompetent yes-men. But then also, in number 10, uh, there's a culture of young people, you know, Carrie's sort of age, so there's no kind of wise heads in there saying, well, hang on a minute, don't think about, you know, this, think about that. Um, and the, the point being that also, you know, he's, he's continued as he he's, has done his entire professional life, you know, skating from one disaster to another, um, just escaping things and then moving on to the next. Well, the thing that, that, that are bring, that, that are, that's bringing him down at the moment all the issues that the public are resonating to, wallpaper gate, party gate, all have Carrie's hand in them. Nobody's talking about the fraud or, you know, cash for, you know, uh, jobs for cronies or anything remarkably remotely like that. So you can't imagine, for instance, if we take the sort of the frivolous thing of, 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 of wallpaper gate, you cannot imagine, for instance, that 
that Boris gives a toss about what wallpaper he's got. I mean, if you put, you know, straw in the corner of his sty, he'd be happy. Um, so, OK. Well, uh, Sonia, what do, what, I've heard that repeated. The fact that Boris Johnson could not organise a party if, if he wanted to. It's Carrie who's the one who loves to have a party. It was Carrie's idea to bring the birthday cake at the um, alleged birthday party that was held in number 10. There's allegations, of course, about parties being held uh, as well in the flat. So the, the, the accusation is a lot of that culture goes back to Carrie. And the other thing, as Nina says, is that doing up the flat at the cost that it did eventually cost, is Carrie as well. Now, is that because Carrie's to blame or is that because Boris can't say no to her and it's his fault? Well, I, I mean, I think this is sort of fundamental weakness at the heart of Boris Johnson's personality, which is that, you know, why should we obey the rules? The rules aren't for us. Um, so whether that's, you know, getting someone else to pay for outrageously expensive uh, wallpaper or just having parties whenever he feels like it or other people feel like it, that's all down to him. And, you know, that was his personality way before he married Carrie, Carrie Johnson, when he was editor of The Spectator, which is a long time before um, Carrie Johnson was on the scene. It was the same old thing, parties all the time. He wanted to have a party, we are told, at The Spectator, the night of 7-7. Can you imagine that? And it was only when other people simply refused to have anything to do with it that the event was canceled. So a party I think, for what? You know, Celebrating it was, it was the summer. It was the summer party. Right. Um, apparently, at the Spectator that night, it, it had been planned for some time. All it right. wasn't that he. If we can just bring it. Nina, if we can just bring Nina back in here. Nina, okay, we we take your point about taking the back bearings on this, and they do appear to lead in terms of party gate and in terms of de decoration gate. They do appear to lead back to Carrie. But what about these specific allegations in Lord Ashcroft's uh, bombshell book that were that was re released yesterday in the Mail on Sunday, saying that that she has been heard by aides. We refer to this in our film. Film, uh, whispering into Boris's ear and getting him to change policy on the hoof when he's talking to people on the phone. Well, you know, I have no idea whether that's 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 absolutely true or not, but I can imagine that that will be true. It's it's, it's like you know, it's pillow talk, isn't it? And the thing is with 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 Carrie is that she has was working within the Conservative Party. I mean, she was quite high up, so she has knowledge of politics and 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 pertains presumably to 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 express that knowledge but you know but the thing is it's a kind of toxic relationship you know she's with her and boris because it's made her she's kind of an enabler um i mean can you imagine any of this happening with his previous wife you know who was a very serious well-respected um barrister uh, and all these shenanigans have gone on with 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 boris as sonia says wanting a party on seven seven and and other people persuading him otherwise. Well, I'm sure his wife, if it had been the previous wife, would have said, no, you can't have a party the night before Prince Philip's oh. funeral. Well, that didn't happen. So there wasn't somebody there. So it's all right for him to get what you regard as good advice from his, his wife, but not, not bad advice. But listen, on that point, we'll, we'll have to end it. Thank you both yeah, very much. Just to indeed. point out that Carrie Johnson has insisted yeah. uh, she plays no role in government, that this is all part of a, a brutal briefing campaign and she's being targeted by his enemies. Um, you know, it, ultimately, he's responsible, isn't he? It's his job. You know, it's not, interesting. Not what it, it does almost let him off the hook if all the attention <clears throat> now goes towards Carrie Johnson.